Guten Morgen, kia ora, and welcome to another 3-minute Thursday. Last week we explored the ability in Affinity Photo to do before and after to get an awesome edit. This week we're going to expand on that knowledge and do some batch processing to prepare a time-lapse sequence in Affinity Photo. Obviously there are multiple ways of getting a time-lapse render and I'll make another video on how to do that in DaVinci Resolve 16 and Final Cut Pro 10. Depending on the time you're watching this, these tutorials may already exist. So there may be a card up here or up here or otherwise down below in the description. Go and watch those videos after you're done with this one. However, today we're just going to focus on Affinity Photo and we're going to apply the same edit on a sequence of images in order to prepare our time-lapse. Here's what we're gonna do. Four simple steps. First, we're gonna pick a photo and open it. Second, we're gonna apply an awesome edit to it. Third, we're gonna save that edit as a macro. And fourth, we're just gonna take that macro and apply it to all our images. And well, finally, we're gonna go get ourselves a cup of coffee while Affinity Photo does its magic and applies our edit our macro to all 451 images. So before we open Affinity Photo, I just want to show you real quick the folder of images that I have here that I shot in Central Park last week. So you can see here it's basically the same photo and a bunch of people walking through Central Park on this beautiful day. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna open one of these photos. So now that we have our photo opened in Affinity Photo. The first thing you want to do is find your macro view and that is usually up here on the right. If you can't find it you can also just type it in here and it will tell you exactly where it is. In this case it's in the view studio and then you can bring your macro view back. Please note that this is not available in the develop persona so you're gonna have to work with JPEGs in this case. And all we want to do in the macro window is click record. So now comes the actual fun part of editing the photo. And the first thing I'd like to do is to crop the image to a 16 by 9 ratio. So I'm going to open my crop tool here and click the little cogwheel and make sure that 16 by 9 is selected. Okay. And you can see here in your macro view that it keeps track of all the different steps that you take. Next, let's make this picture a little bit more pretty. With the background selected, I'm just clicking down here on adjustments. Maybe we'll fix our white balance. It looks nice. We're going to adjust the brightness and the contrast. Let's add some vibrance to this because why not? Some saturation, way too much. And we're also gonna do some curves just for the sake of this demo. Okay, the curves are probably a little bit overkill because I've already adjusted the contrast and the vibrance. But hey, I'm no colorist or a professional photographer, so what do I know? I'm sure your edit is much more epic than what I'm doing over here anyway. So take it with a grain of salt. And there we have it. We've edited our photo, we are happy. All we have to do is click stop. And the next important thing is to go to this little button here that says add to library and you're just gonna give this macro a name. So I'm just gonna give it affinity batch processing demo and click okay. And lastly, all you need to do is to go to file, new batch job and you get this little dialog here. You can already see your our macro that we've just created down here. So all we need to do is to add all the images that we want this macro or this edit to be applied to. All we gotta do is click add and navigate to where our photos are. And I'm going to select all of them just by pressing command A and click open. There you are. You have a list of 491, 451 images and we want to save this as a JPEG. And then here we can say if we want to save it into the original location and overwrite our existing images, which I don't want to do because I want to compare them. I'm going to save it into a folder that I've prepared here already called Central Park's Timelapse Edited. And we want to save this as a JPEG. And all you got to do is apply the macro to make sure it's on the list of applied macros. And then you click OK. And then you can see 
here on the right hand side 451 items and one job is running and now we're gonna get ourselves a cup of coffee and that's it for today i hope you learned something i hope this makes your life better if it does or if you have any questions drop me a comment down below please do the whole youtube thing and give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're into this kind of stuff and i will see you in the next one vielen dank fürs zuschauen bis zum nächsten mal